This year's budget continues the Brumby government's strong leadership in responding to our longest drought ever and the challenges of climate change. We're constructing Australia's largest desalination plant, which will turn seawater into drinking water. Uh, we're completing Australia's most extensive water grid with the Wimmeramalli Pipeline project completed five years ahead of schedule. The North-South Pipeline finished now months ahead of schedule uh, and well under budget. Uh, and of course uh, the Food Bowl Modernisation project, project, the largest water savings project in Australian history which will see two billion dollars invested in fixing leaky irrigation water infrastructure in the state's north. And this year's budget continues with many of those measures as well as providing more resources to support households to invest in rainwater tanks and in water efficient shower heads and to help business to do more to save water at the industry level. We're also taking the pressure off business by reducing work cover premiums. A 3.5% reduction in work cover premiums this year will build on the five work cover premium reductions that we've seen in recent budgets, which help make Victoria's work cover system not just the fairest in Australia, um, but the lowest work cover premiums that we can possibly put in place. Uh, as well as helping businesses generally, we're also investing in measures which will help our tourism sector. Uh, and this year's budget includes a massive investment to increase the marketing of Melbourne, to draw more visitors to our capital city uh, and to make sure that we continue to generate jobs for this very important industry.